Aloha everyone, we are doing a hike today. Um, so basically, it's kind of hard to find, like you can't even really, um, you gotta park in this like shopping area where there's like a McDonald's um, and then you cross the street. And so we just kind of bring you guys along. This is the first time we're actually doing this trail. So it'll be a bit of an adventure. Um, oh, and then my husband is joining me. This is Fernando. He's finally here from Brazil. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what this place looks like. So we basically just hopped over this uh, railing to walk along this trail right here. McDonald's is right over there behind us. So you just park in that parking lot. So it's right, uh, the, the starting point is right next to the cemetery. The, the valley, of, valley the of the temple cemetery. Yeah, so we're across the street from there. Oh, we wanted to mention that this uh, trail that we're on, where we're trying to find the trailhead, this is, we're basically walking um, west right now, on the west side of this highway. All right, looks like we found the trail, yeah. Nice, oh, looks like it's primarily shaded. Well, that wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't that yeah, bad. Yeah, let's say how many minutes is that? Two. Yeah, about two, two, three minutes, depending on how fast you walk from the McDonald's parking lot. And I believe the street is called Ivo Hui, something like that. So from what I read in my research and the reviews, this trail is about 40 minutes. Um, you should get some really good views from the top. So right now it's about 12.30 p.m. And yeah, let's see if it really does take us 40 minutes. <laughs> So, so far, the trail is, um, luckily hasn't been raining that much lately, so the trail isn't that muddy. And, uh, yeah, it pretty much is a straight incline, as you guys can see. There's some ropes here that you can hold on to to help assist. But I would imagine on a really rainy, muddy day, this would be quite slippery. <laughs> So this trail is called the Pu'u Ma'eli Eli Trail, located in Kaneohe. First part is a bit steep, and then it kind of flattens out at the top right here. And then there's a fork in the trail. You can either go straight or go right. So we're going straight. It's our first time doing this trail, so we're not exactly sure um, where this leads, but yeah, we'll figure it out keep you guys posted. <laughs> about 15 or 20 more minutes. There's some steep parts like this area. 
but I'm pretty sure the views at the end will be totally worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> be mindful. Lots of tree trunks ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We made it! This Pu'u Ma'ili Eli. So I'll read it for you guys, okay? It says... Sorry, I'm completely out of breath. That was a steep, steep part of the trail. My heart is like boom, boom, boom. So anyway, it says, according to Hawaiian mythology, Pu'u Ma'ili Eli translates to Digging Hill. The companion gods, Kane and Kanaloa, once reached the top of the hill and had to dig into the slope of their hands to climb up. The bunkers found in summit are the remnants of the Heia combat training area, Camp Heia, uh, built during World War II to support nearly 4,500 military personnel. Nice. So it is about 1.07. So it took us about, yeah, 40 minutes, I would say. 40, 45 minutes or so, depending on how fast you guys hike. But look at the views. Absolutely gorgeous. Did you enjoy that hike, honey? Yeah, very. Yeah, it's pretty much um, a steady incline. So I wouldn't say it's an easy hike. It's definitely a good cardio hike for sure. But look at these views, guys. Yeah. I also wanted to mention there's um, about two or three bunkers here. So like for example, there's one right there that you can probably go in. So that's actually what we are standing on right now. That was absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, 40 minutes hike with that kind of view payoff. That's pretty incredible. I will say it is a pretty steady incline though. So you definitely get your heart beating. It's a good cardio workout. So now we're heading back. We're gonna go get some lunch um, at this place that I've been wanting to try for the longest time in Kaneohe. So I'll bring you guys along and show you what makes this place pretty unique. So we actually made it here to the Heiau State Park. I want to show you guys what we got from Adela's Country Eatery. So we have here um, this lechon and they have house-made noodles. So I actually got the avocado um, noodles right here with some pork belly lechon. Absolutely delicious. And then he got 
um, shrimp with ube noodles. So these are fresh made purple wooden ube noodles. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. Let me know how it is. <laughs> Let's try these avocado noodles right here. Mmm. Very good. Very fresh. The lechon, the um, fried pork. Nice and crispy. I would say this place definitely lives up to its hype. I'll put the link of this restaurant in the description below. over at the northeast side of the island. It's a bit chilly right now because it's about 4 p.m. and the sun has kind of disappeared behind some clouds or the mountain. <laughs> but we're just like taking a stroll here along the beach. The water here is a bit murky so um, it's not ideal for swimming or snorkeling but you know it is still very scenic here. So we're gonna try to just take a, a walk and enjoy this beautiful scenery so i'll end the vlog here thank you so much for watching our saturday adventures today if you'd like to see more oahu videos uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, and like if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of these kind of videos and we will see you at the next vlog bye, bye. aloha <laughs> Thank you.